Okay, so what we're going to do is exosomes uh, injection into the knee. So that's the exosome. It's exosome actually the banet. Uh, you can see it here. That's the brand we're using. And you can see it's complex plus. So basically this uh, vial will, uh, will have, I would say around 5 billion exosomes. If it doesn't have the usual regular one without the plus, then it's 2.5 billion. So that's is, is, uh, way more than that. And then you can see here, Lauren, she's preparing it. She's gonna inject it to my left knee. I've been having some uh, pain in there. Uh, and then it comes with the 5 cc one, you know, so she's gonna aspirate the 5 cc uh, of the fluid and then inject it into the powder and mix it. And after that, she'll uh, mix it to the knee. So basically exosomes, you know, are the small vesicles that are produced by the cell, packaged and then uh, excreted out of the cell. So whenever they are in the cells, they are called endosomes. And whenever the cell uh, take them out, it's called exosomes. And they're used to communicate between cells and the cells send them to the tissues uh, to uh, repair so whenever the body feels there's some damage from burn injury anything then it sends the cells and the cells like release the exosomes so basically they have a lot of growth factors interleukins uh, cytokines all the substances that are actually needed to repair and uh, to heal the tissues so now these are ones the benefit are extracted from the stem cells the mesenchymal fat stem cells uh, and they have a lot of um, growth factors and exosome in them and then uh, they have no antigenic properties so the body cannot produce or be allergic to them or produce antibodies to them or anything like that and at the same time they get tested for all the diseases so they don't there's no way they'll be carrying any kind of any disease as well so they're pretty safe and they're supposed to be 100 times more actually have more growth factors than prp you know when we do our, P our own prp is good as well but sometimes we don't know how clean it is and how much we have growth factors and when we aspirate how much we have so this is like more controlled and supposed to be also it's more uh, effective it's almost 10 times more effective than plasma and prp injection so if you get in prp and this is the next step and then the next actual upgrade uh, and then they're used to too many things can be used for the hair restoration can be used for the face the joints are off label and actually now it's, they are injected um, intravenously so on the iv therapy you know they uh, they do sometimes almost like 15 billion and supposed to heal and is excellent for anti-aging and uh, it helps with that as well. Okay, so first I'm gonna find the location where the joint line is. I'm gonna clean with alcohol. I'm gonna clean with betadine. And then I like to make a little mark just so I know where I'm injecting. Gonna spray with some lidocaine spray, nice and cold. Gonna freeze the area. I don't do that, so don't get used to it. No, I do it. <laughs> like you know, yeah, it does look actually. It's, it's, it feels nice. okay. And poke and pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah. Almost done. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're just gonna move your knee back and forth, get it all throughout the joint. Already feels better. <laughs> <laughs> all right.